know, thanks you guys for being here. I thought it was a great environment. I think this is a great rivalry. We're just disappointed, obviously. Um, I think we're way past the point of feeling good about having a competitive game, you know, feeling good about being close. You know, we, 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 we want to win, and that's really disappointing. Um, if you look at these stat categories, there are a lot that look really good for us. You know, forced 18 turnovers, got to the free throw line 18 times, but can't win a lot of games shooting 15 for 55. And, um, you know, there's not really a way around that. I thought our kids really hung tough early in the first half when we weren't making shots, and then we went on a run. I thought they really tried to hang tough. In the second half, we weren't making shots. And at some point, you know, Stanford's too good to not score <laughs> for long stretches of time. Um, you know, we'll nothing to do but evaluate. I need to evaluate. I think the players will evaluate. We'll look at the film, and we get them again on Sunday. And um, we we have to be better if we want to beat them. Lindsay, will you evaluate the shots you did get? You think they good shots, uh, makeable shots, shots that maybe are not your best looks in the offense. Right. I thought we moved the ball beautifully in the first half. I mean, there was a point there where we were just really. Um, moving it as well as we have um, and, you know, resulted in a, a good run there. And that's when we took more threes. I think we took 14 threes in this first half. One was a last second three by Jeff Lowe, so really 13 kind of in the flow. So in the second half, you know, we only took six. I, I, maybe we were – I don't know. I have to look at them. You know, it didn't feel like we were just sitting out there jacking threes the whole second half. I, I thought that we just – our movement looked slower. Our pace looked slower. Our, you know um, – we weren't quite as crisp, and it just led to shots that seemed a little bit maybe more forced. That said, I thought we had a lot of good looks that just didn't go down. I don't know. Got to take a look at it and see. When you guys weren't making field goals, you couldn't get into your press and force some of those turnovers mm -hmm. that kind of exactly. the first half. Which was that? A huge factor. I mean, that's, again, I, you know, if you look at it and said, okay, we'd give up 59 points to Stanford, that's not the issue. But when you're not scoring, and we can't get into any type of disruptive defense, and we're just going against their ball screen stuff over and over and over again, it puts a lot of pressure, you know, to, to, to have to guard it well. And that was definitely, a, like, the not scoring has a lot of impacts. One of them is they get to be more comfortable on the offensive end. Brittany, will you talk about the defending Stanford team that plays a lot differently than the Stanford team that have played against for a while? Yeah, I think um, they, uh, they really – uh, kind of use their ball screen, um, high ball screen, really well, and they have great um, perimeter players with Lily, especially Lily and uh, Amber, and that can knock down the um, mid-range pull even with a hand on them. So um, I think you know that was a challenge um, itself, but uh, you know I think we could be better, a lot better in it, and um, kind of dictate instead of um, you know running into screens or you know being slow. Um, while they're shooting to get a hand up. But I do think overall we could be better, and that's something that we um, are going to work on for these next couple of days. Lindsay, I know this is the theory you haven't subscribed to, but another game with a lot of minutes for the starters, mm -hmm. and another game where the second half doesn't go your way, I mean, is there any chance? Yeah. I mean, you guys lost the legs a little bit? Well, I, I, I don't know. Like, I just, it's hard to tell, right? You know, our layup's not dropping because someone's like, but either way, I, I do think, you know, we got to look at getting some different energy in there. You know, I, I thought we looked so good in the first half and we were in a rhythm, so it's hard. Then the second half, you start losing that rhythm and then you get a little bit, you know, gun shy. But I, I think, you know, we definitely will look at just getting, I mean, look, McPhee, energy off the bench for them, changed the game for him. She changed the game for him. So for us, you know, I think just looking at uh, where we can get some bursts of energy, where we can get some different looks out there is absolutely something, you know, to, to consider. Is that why we're not making shots? I don't know. You know, I really don't. Um, but uh, I, I think it's something where we can, we can get another burst of energy in there. Can you finish your question? Are you surprised that you guys, I mean, you guys were playing so well and then you've lost two games in a row. Are you surprised that your momentum as a team has sort of stopped so abruptly? Um, no, um, this is just like another learning experience and just showing us what we need to work on more. And basically saying that we need to be aggressive and attackers the whole 40 minutes and not just have it the first half. So we just need to finish strong. Was it 
Um, they were definitely hitting shots, and I take the blame of um, not um, protecting well and just letting them step, not stepping out more on the pull-up range, knowing that they can hit the shot. So I just take responsibility for that, um, that they definitely just hit more shots. I would say they, there's not one thing that they did, not one thing that was surprising. Not one. I mean, they just did what they do a little bit better. In the first half, you know, they were going to do what they were going to do, and anybody but Rashonda, right, they have four people sitting there. We moved the ball great. We hit enough shots. We got out in the second half. We we didn't. And so they, they got to be, you know, a little bit better version of themselves than we were of ourselves, but we, it was the offense we expected. You know, we decided we were going to stay home on the ball screens and defend it with the post player and the guard and not let the Samuelsons get open threes, which obviously was successful for them last weekend and has been. So there wasn't one thing that they did other than maybe, you know, McPhee coming in. Not one thing that was surprising. They just did it a little better than we did. Right, which was the goal. I mean, that's what we sort of said. We'll, we'll, we'll live with a few mid-range jumpers here. I mean, again, thought uh, Lily and, 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 and Amber did a good job of making those plays, but we thought we'd live with that, protect the three-point line a little bit better. I don't think we defended that stuff as well as we could. I thought we gave up too many offensive rebounds by a lot, <laughs> and, uh, and we couldn't score. So, I, again, I'm not sure that the 59 points is the issue. It's 15 second-half points and shooting three for 27. Yeah, I mean, it, it was backbreaking. I mean, just you feel good going in halftime up nine, but we were up 13 before she came in. I mean, I mean she she really gave him a lift and, um, you know, got to keep her off the boards, got to match her energy, got to not let her drive by us. I mean, she, she did a great job. They needed her to. I don't know if they, you know, if they win the game, if she doesn't have that kind of performance.